Welcome to the Ultimate Conquest Tutorial. If you've never played the most challenging mode in Smite before and you want to get to know it, this video will tell you everything you need to know before getting started. Drop it! There are five professions in Smite. Archer, Rogue, Knight, Wizard and Warrior. Archers are those who've been training with a bow all their lives. Rogues, however, are excellent when it comes to handling poison. Knights usually utilize two-handed weapons. Wizards are those proficient with magic. Warriors often use a shield, blocking damage for others. However, professions are not the main priority. We'll get to that later. First, let's take a look at the conquest map. Here you see the left lane, also referred to as the beach lane. While playing on this lane, watch out for occasional nuclear attacks. Before we get any further into ideal picks for the lane, let's take a quick look at the card system in Smite. Smite utilizes a card system which allows you to change the type of your guard. Some guards can only have a few types, while others, like Gap, can have various types. As you can see in Gap's standard card, he's a plant water type. However, if you change his card, he can be changed over to either a fire type, a robot type or a beach type and therefore fulfill various roles in the game. Coming back to the beach lane, there are two types of guards you want to play on the beach lane. It's either beach guards or water guards. Here are some examples aside of Geb. Hercules, Aphrodite, Hebro, and most notably Poseidon. Poseidon is special here because he has two different type cards that can help him on the beach lane. You can either go for the standard water type Poseidon or you can go for poolside and have a beach type instead, depending on the effectiveness you want against your enemy. Moving on to the left forest lane. In this position, it's crucial to clear the whole left side of the forest. You will find three types of guards here. Once again, Gab is a good example, as he can also be played as a plant-based guard. Cabracken falls into the same category, also being a green guy. And obviously, Sylvanas is one of the best plant-based guards out there. All of them can be played very well in the forest lane. Another strong type in the jungle is the bug type. For example, Arachne or Capri. Last but not least, there's the snake type, with Medusa being one of the strongest forest guards. Next one on the list is the highway lane, which is in the center of the map. It is called the highway lane as it is the most busy lane on the whole map. There are only two types of guards that can be played on this lane. Luckily, there's a large number of one of those types, which is the robot type. Once again, Gap can also be played here. Other guards include Mercury, Medusa, Sylvanas, Fenrir, Janus and Bakasura. Aside of the robot type, there are some guards of the car type, like Cabracken, which can also be played here. Moving on to the right part of the forest, that is also controlled by a single player, the pick options don't differ too much from the left forest. You want to avoid picking plant type guards here though, as there's quite a bit of fire around. This brings us to the right lane, the lava lane, also referred to as the boulevard of broken dreams. As always, when in doubt, go for Gap. He can also be played as a fire type. Other notable fire type guards would be Sol or Agni. If you prefer your guards straight out of hell, Demonic is the way to go. Gods like Bellona make excellent lava lane gods as well. Now that you have an idea about the lanes, let's talk about what to do at the start of the game. You will see some players going into the forest trying to take the camps. That is not necessary. Instead, go straight for the gold furry with your whole team. Why the gold furry? Obviously because it gives most gold. <clears throat> right, where were we? Oh, um, yeah, well, there's that fire guy as well. So he's kind of into um, bondage because of chains and stuff, you know. Just don't worry about him. He's not important to the game at all. Uh, overrated. Completely overrated. Such as, as wards, basically. Yeah, I'll, I'll just end up the guide here. Um, thank you guys for, for watching. Remember, if anyone tells you in lobby that you're a troll or something, they're just clueless about the game. Um, yeah, yeah, thanks. Dirk Schloth, out.